Dr. Maxis. What it is? I'm Kevin with Scorchard Gaming, and today I'm going to bring you a small taste test on Ultratron. It's free on PS Plus this month, and I gotta say, if you're unsure about this one, I'd give it a go. If you've played Titan Attacks, then you'll be somewhat familiar with it. It plays like that, it looks like it. Well, I say plays like it. This one's a twin stick shooter, and you move around a lot more, whereas with Titan Attacks, you were down the bottom, kind of like it's Space Invaders, just with customization. This one's got customization too, and I gotta say, I'm enjoying this one a lot. I like the art style, lots of purple. Good choice, purple's fucking awesome. So as you can see up the top right, that's your health. You got your shields and smarts, I believe are smart bombs. And down the bottom at the start of each round or the end of each round, I'm not sure which it is, you'll see names and kind of like the kill strikes that you'll find on fucking guns and shit. It's kind of got something like that. And I believe at every 10th interval, you fight a boss. I haven't actually gotten that far yet because I just wanted to get used to the controls of the game before doing this. So yeah, there's quite a bit of customization. As you can see, the levels, we have next level three and beside this little lock, there's a three. At first, I wasn't sure if it was character had a level, so you have to level up your character, but I figured out after three that it's tied to the rounds. I don't know why they call it levels. That sort, sort of confused me, but that's just me. So yeah, after each couple of rounds, you get new upgrades to buy like level five pet shooty let's get that and then i'm going to make a cut to get us to the boss and hopefully not die along the way i don't know what the fuck i just hit i think it was one of those spider things but as you can see there's little dots on the ground when i first played it i had no idea what the fuck they were i thought they were just part of the art design but no that, that that's your money you want that so yeah I don't know why I'm shooting more than one bullet now. I still haven't figured that out. But I'm enjoying this game. I enjoyed Titan Attacks for some time, but this game... Oh, there's a spider! See, he drops loads of money. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed Titan Attacks, but I just went off of that game after a while. This one, though, I'm enjoying a lot more than Titan Attacks. I like being able to move a lot more freely. What the fuck? Oh yeah, fruit. I'm not sure what fruit does, still haven't figured that out either. I think I might just give you points on your top left. But yeah, I'd definitely say give this game a go, I think I just ran into all those guys. It's definitely worth a look. If you play Titan Attacks you'll like this, and if you played Titan Attacks and didn't like that, I'd say give this a go because the game is a lot more different. So I wouldn't judge it based on Titan Attacks if you didn't like that game. Because that one made me rage. This one has not made me rage. What the fuck just happened there? Uh, let's not get that because I believe we can get pet shooty after this one. So this level is intense as fuck. So I'm going to apologize now if I don't talk too much. There's like 100 enemies right now. And they all want to kill me. It's a twin stick shooter. I don't know if I've said that. So now I want to shoot one bullet. What happened there? So it's not. Fuck. Fuck. Rob walked into that one. So yeah, the controls aren't too complicated. I believe L2, L1, R1, R2 are for your smart bombs, which I don't have any. And I'm dead. So yeah, I'm gonna make a cut now and I'm gonna get to one of the bosses. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we are on wave nine. I've got the shooty pet with me. Shit is intense. I went through a challenge round and I almost 100% of it, but one of the fucking spider, I think it was spider droids they were called. One of those things walked into me and that didn't count as me killing it. So yeah. And we got a weird turret thing. So, so far, still loving the game. The challenge didn't even seem too tough. I would have been able to do it no problem if 
I was uh, paying more attention. Okay, here we go. The boss awaits. I guess we have to get through a round of enemies before being able to fight the boss or something, by the looks of it. So let's get that done. Oh, spider. What you got first? Perfect for going against the boss. Another turret. There's the boss. Oh, fucking strawberry bastard. Strawberry. That's a smart bomb. Fuck. That messes up the screen. There we go. There's a shitty belt back. I almost fucking died. There we have it. Robot following us. Why is the turret following us now? Okay, so that was the first boss. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. I almost died. So I hope this video helps you decide whether or not you want the game. I personally, I'm gonna keep playing it. I enjoyed it quite a lot. And yeah, that's been the Ultratron taste test. I'm Kevin, Scorched Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara.